Welcome to part two of modifying an F86 Sabre. Well, remember when I said I was going to make a full flying tail? Well, check this out. Look at that. Nice, isn't it? Now, you're probably wondering how I did that. Well, don't worry, I didn't glue anything together yet. This is just set up to make sure it works properly, and it looks like it is working properly. But this is what I did. I had to think for a while about how to do these uh, tail, do the elevators. Pull that out. Now this is the original elevator. I didn't use the original elevators. I was trying to figure out what, uh, how to make, these are kind of thick. I was trying to figure out how to make them fit so that they can be able to move on a plane. So I came up with ideas of probably shaving these low, thin them out, then cover them with fiberglass. That way they're strong. But uh, then that had been a, a lot of mess trying to shave this this uh, this EPS foam. So then I've tried filling this in, the, the elevator in, and that, that was an ideal that didn't work. So I came up with a couple of more ideals. One was to, to use build new elevators all together. One was to make it a frame and just fill the inner half with balsa. Uh, but still, I would have had a problem of having to shape the balsa because I don't have a hot wire. So I said, well, why don't I just take some uh, quarter-inch light balsa, shape it out of, of the, in, uh, in the shape of the elevator. I even have that five-degree dihedral in there for the, uh, as the elevators are up. So... I said, why don't we just shape it out? Don't even bother making lightning holes because I'm using light balsa. And what I'm going to do to strengthen it, I'm going to use that Teflon, not Teflon, but the uh, carbon fiber sheeting I have to strengthen the base. And the rest of it I'm going to cover with fiberglass and sand it smooth. But it looks good. Looks good. Looks real good. Now, it was kind of tricky. Uh, as you can see here, I even got the rudder cut in too. So, but here's how I did it. I'm going to take this apart because we're not going to glue anything together yet until we make sure everything fits. I'm going to take the other elevator out. Ah. Nice tight fit. Take the rubber band off. Now, what I had to do so that I can get these to work was to make a block. Right here, here's the block. This block is what it hold, is the key point to the elevators working. That's going to be glued right there in the tail. Uh, we're using uh, carbon fiber and epoxy, so to make sure it's strong and doesn't move. I just made a little wooden box, as you can see here, with one of the, with a steering arm. Got a metal shaft. Ran it through, centered it, ran it through with a, uh, a tube, that way it moves. And on the ends, I had to make sure I got a good five degree up angle. That's for the uh, dihedral in the elevators. And when I slide the elevators on, they slide onto these paddles here that go into the slot that I cut out. And I'm going to epoxy these in. When the time comes, and that way, there, there we go, there you go, just like so. And to control these, this is a uh, quite a bit, it's a big plane, and this is quite a bit of weight on these elevators. So to control them, I didn't want to use, I wanted to, I didn't, I wanted to use, I didn't want to use a small servo like I usually use for the rest of it. What I wanted to use was a full-size sta uh, standard servo. So I had to find a place to put it. So this is what I did. I'm using a control cable, as you can see here, a flex cable, which, uh, which this, shaft, which this uh, box hooks to, which controls the elevator. And that flex cable, as you can see, right there. That's how I control the elevator. 
Now, some of you might be saying flex cable may flex on you and bend and uh, give you a few, some problems. But I've used this for many years on elevators, ailerons, even flaps. And as long as you secure them properly where that, sh where that con conduit doesn't move, then you won't have any problems when it comes to the flex cables. Just make sure that you got plenty of shaft and plenty of room to be able to move the, the end, the cleavage on the end. But not too much. That way you keep your strength. Now what I did was ran that cable straight through. Now the, duct, the thrust tube goes right here. So I kept the cable mounting, uh, ran it through behind where the uh, thrust tube fits. Now I used that, temp, that carbon fiber to make a wall here. Now I did this on the other half of the fuselage too. This is where that spacer block sits. The EDF unit sits here. That spacer block fits right down up in here. I wanted to keep the strength of this because I don't want to alter too much. And what I did, I made a servo tray in here. See if you can see the servo tray with the control rod line coming right through there. And I can hook a servo right to it. And that's plenty of room right there for a servo. I had to hollow all that out. There's an empty space right here. Had to hollow it all out. Uh, Use some epoxy with baking soda. Put a tray in it. And gave the wall. It kind of got a little weak right here. So when I used the, the epoxy with the baking soda mix, it gave the, the, that wall its strength back. So that, that won't be caving in. But the servo fits right into its tray, right into there. And it fits in there nice and deep. That is what's gonna control the elevator. So, that's not a bad setup. It took me a while to think about it. And I also got another servo tray right here for a mini servo. That's where I'm gonna hook the control for the uh, speed brakes. Now when we get to that part, you see how that works. But that's how I did that. And it's not, it can't it come out too bad. I really like how these elevators work. I'll put them together again for you so you can see how that block there holds the elevators. There you have it. See that? Not bad. Not bad at all. Well, thank you for watching. And um, I'm going to put all, assemble all this together. But I'm not going to glue it yet because we still have some uh, ways to go before we uh, put that fuselage halves together. So we'll see you next time. And in the meantime, enjoy the weather and good flying to you.